I went out already as soon as I did. Just ahead, four, turn was, right on Rava Drive. It's four dollars. I'm not gonna lie, it's, I really take a four dollar one, but I know it's gonna be fast. Give me a quick four bucks. Turn right on Rava Drive. I, I was gonna go that way anyway, so. people coming from but they be coming out the woodworks right here I'm gonna pause it folks man he said someone is prank calling me man Ask him if he had a. Had something, then they asked, called and asked him if he had condoms. And then they called him and told him that he. That they're gonna fuck their seven year old cousin. Then he comes back and says he's outside waiting for him, so he, he comes outside and looks. Because, man, if they. As soon as he pressed that panic button, man, they're gonna be here in less, less than 60 seconds, man. As soon as you press that panic button. <laughs> Heard of gone in 60 seconds. They're going to be here in 60 seconds. I guess what can they get them for? Terroristic threats. shorter shorter on distance but I don't know about on time because of the, of the lights man uh, Tap dancing. Man. Gonna be one or two things. We're gonna find out here in a few minutes. A rock, or well, one of three things: a rock, a screw, or a nail. Turn right on Grissom Road. The person in the front does not make the lights change. There it goes. I changed the form. Just ahead, turn right. Sounds like back tire. 
might be the front. Sometimes it sounds like the back turn is the front. So, vice versa. Turn right, then keep right. Looks like it was a rock. I got it out. Let me see. Uh, I want a Sonic Burger. On Babcock. extra five dollars good six miles but five dollars I'll go in it's almost two o'clock so I'll chew up some time and get extra five dollars
red light camera, so this one's changing. Majors, the wreck of truck. Cops. sobriety test on Sam. He fucks it, right? So that's all. I'm thinking automatic go to jail. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck are we gonna do, man? They gonna tow the car out. <laughs> We're out in the sticks. Sam's going to jail. <laughs> then he asks Bichet. He asks Bichet to do the field sobriety test. <laughs> Bichet is drunk, too. He passes it. He passes the field sobriety test. And they tell him to drive. <laughs> they tell they tell Bache to drive. Bache is like, nah, I'm not driving. I'm not driving. So they let Sam. It's a state trooper. They let Sam drive. Y'all can just go straight home, all right? And of course we did. He go straight home. It's crazy, man. It's the first time I've ever seen it. been a part of something like that. I need to get over, man. I don't want to hit that car. Yeah, man. I was weird as fuck, man. Like, oh Stay trooper. Stay trooper, man. Because you know when they approach the car, they give their whole... With their name and their, their state trooper and their, their rank badge number and all that shit. In a quarter mile, turn right on Huebner Road using the right lane. And state troopers, uh, one time I dropped my nephew off from Mejia, Texas. It's like an hour past Waco. Since we went to go and, uh, see him graduate. Turn right on Huebner Road. I told my mom, I said, mom, that's a long fucking way, mom. It's like five, six hours and shit. Going towards Dallas. Because even San Antonio is, is like close to three hours away from Morpheus. And, uh, it's called the Mejia Black Cats. That was weird to me. Why would you name your mascot a black cat? Yeah. 
back to time. Well, anyway. drop him up. My mom said, wanted me to go drop him up. I said, Mom, I told you already, Mom. I can't be hulling out my car just because you want me to. I said, I need the oil change on my car. I said, we, I, it wasn't even changed before we left. So she gives me her card and I can take out 40 bucks. I didn't know that was all she had. I didn't even put the balance on that shit. Cause I had got on his ass. I had got on his ass and shit. So he wasn't saying nothing. But I told my mom. I told my mom this, right? I said, Mom, my mom can't take care of you. He's he's attacked my mom a few times. Mom, if you want, if Jacob wants, I'm, I'm gonna help you take care of him. That's if I don't have a, a family mile, mom turn or right on the road. a chick or something. Because I didn't have a chick at the time, so. But on the way back, on the way back, right? So I got my radar detector going and she. Turn right on passed up a unmarked police car on the freeway. It was a gray uh, Impala. No, I take that back. It was a dark blue. Like a midnight blue Impala. Because I was passing, just passing up by the Alamo Dome and then he turned the lights on. And I seen the lights about the license plate and the lights like going in the back of the door which are wrong so I'm like man I backed off as soon as we made it out of San Antonio because it's a hilly and shit he, he booked it so I didn't even see him anymore in a quarter mile turn left on Babcock Road so I didn't even see him anymore so I was getting clo close to Matthews in uh it's probably like 45 minutes out of town. Turn left on Babcock Road, and I'm, then I'm, turn left. And I'm just going like 10 over with the radar architecture. I'm going 10 over. This is the 24 hour one, so. Yeah, I have two Uber Eats orders. One's for Joe M. And one's for J M E. Last initial T. Hey, thank you. Some people have bird brain. Yeah, so um, I'm coming back, right? I'm going 10 over. There's a silver Volvo.
they because I'm going 10 over and I'm not pissing to ride nobody's ass and none of that shit and it was an 18 wheeler right there so when when they passed the 18 wheeler they uh they got to the right right side and I'm, as I'm passing them they start speeding up and he, he starts pulling out a pistol he starts flashing a pistol at me I'm like it was too wet also what the hell's wrong with these motherfuckers It was a silver slide and black handle. So they pulled out the pistol and shit. I'm like, yeah. I'm not afraid of a widow with a pistol. Now, if it was a Mexican with tattoos on his face or a brother with gold teeth, that's a whole nother ball game. But it wasn't. So. He did it two times. I got on the phone. I started acting like I was, I was calling the laws, but I was calling my cousin. So you get the license plate. And I told him, I said, oh, they're coming. I said, they're coming. You better throw it out the window. Because if they would throw it out the window, we are going like 70 or 580. I was going to stop and get it. Hopefully, he would have threw it good in the grass. So then they start like, leave leave us alone. Leave me alone. I'm like, well, you're the one who pull out the pistol. I said, I hope you can do about, about 10 on the 15. So they, they try to book it, right? The Avalon went 130 before it bogged down back to 20. I had an Avalon. So you had an Avalon. So I was like, Then he was trying to make me crash. I'm like, you're going to crash before I crash. Like, he went in front of an 18 wheeler and stopped like that. And, like, trying to make me get hit by an 18 wheeler. I'm like, bro, what are you doing to yourself? Hitting the brakes on me and shit. Like, for me to smash him in the ass. And so we're both booking it. Over 100. And I said, oh, shit. So there goes that state trooper. We're both going to 100, over 100, so he's going to stop us, you know. So when I approached him, he was on the right-hand side. I lowered down my window. I said, he got a, he got a gun. He got a gun. I motioned like that because he was going to pull me over, too. So he gets behind the Volvo and pulls him over, right? Then I pulled behind him. So he runs to the car, runs to my car. What happened? I said, man, they pull out a gun on me, man. So he pulls out his gun. He does the felony stop. He pulls them both out of the driver's side. Like he pulls them out of there. Like actually pulls it. He didn't, cause they, he didn't ask him to get out the car. He pulls him out the car. I seen him put the gun in the back of his waistband and he comes up to my car. He told me, what, what color was the gun? I said, it's silver slide and a black handle. So he asked me to get out the car and he searches me. And I told him I was on paper. That's when everything changed. He was taking a long time then. I think it was Live Oak. It was Live Oak. What's the name of some somebody's name? Is the county right? Those sheriffs get there. Then some more state troopers come. And then uh, it was a bald headed sheriff with a big ass mustache, like turn like that. He's like, "Are you right?" I'm like, "Yeah." He says, "Are you on any medication?" Anything? I'm like, "No." He says, "It doesn't make sense that uh." They're the ones with the gun, and you're chasing them. I said, well, so when they put the gun on me, I'm trying to get the license plate and all that. <laughs> he says, why didn't you call us? I said, man, we're, they're going over 100 miles an hour. I'm going to lose them. I said, I, I'm not going to be on the phone, talking on the phone when the cars, when I'm driving over 100 miles an hour. Then the female deputy 
I said, what's wrong? I said, ma'am, ma'am, I already know what's going to happen. I said, what do you mean? I said, I, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. I already know what's going to happen. I said, I said what, what's going to happen? I said, they're going to let him go. But if the roles were reversed, I'd be going to prison. I said, no, don't say that. So the state trooper came back, back to me. I was sitting in the car. And he was like, uh, you can go ahead and go. I said, uh, so what you mean? I said, you're not, you're not going to arrest him. Then he started saying, you know, if I was to pull you over and you had that radar, what he said, what he say? that he was going to give me a ticket. I'm like, I said, sir, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to give me a ticket with this radar. Like a, a speeding ticket. Because I already know how to read the radar. That's going to catch you from miles away and shit. Like, for real, you're not going to catch me. Uh -oh. it, it's, it's only two drinks? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So I can put my drink over here. It's full. I hope it don't fall out. This is who you said? Do you have any stickers in here? Mm, uh, so. We need to tell your manager they need to have stickers for us. Okay. I'm just saying. Too, man. I don't have any stickers. Pettier drop off at thirty six oh three. Pettier drop off at thirty six oh three Chapel Tapique. So, Joe. So, Joe's the drink. Let me switch these places. So I don't get them confused. The one in the front goes first. Right, let me roll up the window. I don't want anything flying into his, his shake or whatever it is. <laughs> She was so kind enough to put the stickers and all that for me last time. I gave her, gave her a couple of bucks in. Because I used to live around here for what? Four months? Turn right on Babcock Road. So the cops started telling me that, right? And I was like, hey, I don't know if you understand or realize this, officer, but um, if, if you don't take him to jail, they're gonna think they can do this to anybody on the road. And they kind of like burst it off and told me to leave. And... They're letting them go. Oh, that's what he, when he came back to the car, he said, yeah, he said that you tried to crash into them. I said, sir, does that make sense? 
they, I see they have a gun and I'm going to try to crash into them. So once we, we crash, what's going to happen? Right. Like, around here too so he's supposed to post it up over here at this little smoke shop or whatever it is right here on the right hand side and in this neighborhood back here it's a big smoke shop and there's a I went and dropped off in the neighborhood so it's a weird noise Intersections like this, you can't even see if the car is coming, man.
as some state troopers, their credibility is out the window with me. I used to think they were just stand up cats, but they're not. talk to him and he was like trying to give me the, the grilling uh oh shit he was grilling me and shit I had nothing to do with this shit I already gave statement to the laws what you talking about turn left on parkway drive turn folks straight in their crib. Turn right on Falcon Drive. In a quarter mile, turn left on Chapel Tepic.
some stickers to seal it with. It's kind of like that, that, they're supposed to have that for us. <laughs> Because, yeah, they gave me two orders. I got two. What was it? would officially lost his mind when he was over there talking to the chair.
Step on the line, Wayne. Now nah, you want to step on the line. He wants to run it. There you go.
on Jackson Keller Road. Mile. Well, whenever it changes. Here it comes. Here it comes, fool. Take that. Hopefully, I don't crash out. Quarantine.
entry waves right there. Man, it's weak as fuck. Yeah, the person was so nice. I gave her the card. She said she's gonna subscribe. Time I came over here, dude told me he just got robbed. He said, Well, thank goodness you're all right, bro. But now, I think not robbed at gunpoint, like robbed as in uh, they, they stealing the shit, they you know, because I don't know if they're trying to stop him or what. That's when it goes from a theft to a robbery. Smell that smell.
it smells like skunky skunk skunk. Somebody got that good stuff, but it's a it's a rodent. It's a rodent. Oh, it's because it's a double one because it's uh, the same person. That's why it's zero miles. Let's get on the side. Yeah, I'm already getting sleepy. I'm kind of awake now. I was driving on that freeway. I was just past the exit up. And Jabs metallic or something. Man, come on, man. This is the way they. Okay, I don't understand. I'm not familiar with this area, but. Man, I could have. Yeah, I guess because you can't shoot through there. <laughs> Can you? See? Nah. That's why it's going this way.
get that uh, his insurance to pay for it. He asked me how much mine cost. So it was four forty-four. It was a fifty-buck warranty for a year, just in case they break, get scratched, or whatever. And uh, you know, Crisco loved kids because that was the most you could donate for the kids for twenty bucks to help the kids get glasses. So I mean, it's great. I feel give it, I give it back. Like them for sure is legit. You know, the guy Mike so cool the first time I went over there I was like man I was really set on the the yellow lens that was yellow lens or bust and so I looked up on the internet and I said man I could get somebody some of the air lens in a quarter mile turn right on dreamland drive using the right lane that's all I said I'm very and weary by ordering shit on the internet because you don't know if you're gonna get it or not it's like a, it's a crap shoe and some other ladies <laughs> other ladies said the same thing but I didn't so many words GPS said, like, going, like, man, I'm cheap. Indigo apartments. Turn right. This is AOM. Okay. Turn left on Northwest Military Highway. Well, it's it's man, this is shit is crazy, man. It's taking me through the apartments from the entrance to the exit. Man, weird. That's the first time I ever went through some apartments. Just to go in the entrance and come out the exit. Just 
get to the other apartments on the other side. Man, it's lively on this other side. What the fuck? Like, I don't know how many military military drives or military. There's, I don't know how many different military streets. I don't think it's the same one. Some of the people have the game. Yeah, well. that one, oh shit, that was close. That was close. Oh, barely. Barely, barely, barely. Did they leave the code? Yeah, they left the code, so. If you ever leave, live in apartments and you're ordering, make sure you leave the, the gate cone. Cause we're making, we're not bad people trying to break into your cream. Man, you know what? Cause I, if that was the case, we wouldn't be delivering. We'd be doing other shit. Packing his man purse with his gun in it.
is 45 by 2. Fluid or something. Come on, walk and find it.
Let's put this one. I'm gonna when I get to my next destination for my delivery, I'm gonna cut it back on, folks.